Uh, we're very pleased to be here with Carolyn uh, Colburn, uh, the uh, wife uh, and, and owner of Steve Colburn of California Chrome. And uh, I remember talking to you uh, at the Belmont, actually, and uh, you were talking about how you write the checks and, and all the monthly expenses. And so I guess uh, one of the questions was, was there any special feeling about California Chrome when you all actually uh, got that horse? You know, it was um, from, I mean, you've heard, everybody's heard this story, but from the day that we, we got him, Steve said to me, this horse is going to do something great. He's going to go down in history. And um, we had a couple of uh, claimers, and so we decided, you know, we'll get rid of those, and we're going to concentrate on California Chrome. And he was such an amazing, amazing fold and uh, a weanling, a yearling, that you just could see in him that he just had so much heart, and he was just such a, a beautiful animal that we had to dip a little bit into our savings and into our retirement but we made a commitment and we believed in him and so when the, the bills came in every month i just kind of smiled and said okay i'll pay the bills <laughs> that, that's that's terrific and so there was no pessimist in the family no 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 no, no. you know because the thing was he has so much personality and he was always the, the alpha and we thought this horse is going to, he, he is just going to run because he, he just has, uh, he was just so energetic and, 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 and this personality of his that, it, no, I could not have said, we're done. We're not going to put any more money into this horse because we wanted, we believed in him. Right. Um, you've been on such a terrific ride. As you look back, is there any particular time or event that brought you uh, a greater satisfaction? You know, the, the journey that we've had with this horse, he broke his maiden second time out. First time, uh, he ran second, and our trainer said, next race, he's not going to be a maiden anymore. And then the thrill that we had when he, he won his first uh, stakes race, it was for cowbreds, but it, that was, oh my gosh, we won a stakes race with this, this horse. And then he had a couple of bad rides, and then we won the King King Gloria. So it just kept getting more wonderful and more wonderful because as, as he won these races, you know, our, our chests got bigger and our hearts got bigger, and, and you know, it was the whole thing has been so wonderful we're so proud of him and it's just been a wonderful experience you know everybody i talked to everybody i interviewed a lot of people even at belmont and they were pulling they were all there to see california chrome and and so he did capture the hearts of america he really did i haven't seen a horse that did that like that you know and i i don't remember that happening either and i've been going to the races for 30 some years and you know everybody loves zenyatta and um she was so special she still is special um but to have so many people want this horse to win i mean we have so many fans it's just it's amazing when we got back from the kentucky derby we had boxes on our front porch from people sending things to us uh, at the mailbox they didn't know our address so they would just put um california chrome's owners uh wellington nevada and of course small town and they, it always got to us and you know it just made our hearts just fill up right. yeah i mean I, I today we went to the museum and um, I mean, I cried. I, we walked in, and here's here's his pictures and everything. And we watched the film, and, and it was just. It, it still, I I went. Oh my gosh, we won the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> it's it's still so surreal, you know. Well, every time you talk to any horse owner or any jockey, that's their goal to win the Kentucky mm -hmm. Derby, and uh, so it's a terrific event. Well, let me ask you one last question. Okay. What what would people want to know that nobody's asked you yet? Is there can you think of anything? <laughs> you know, I think that we're so blessed to have this horse and anybody that's never been on this ride would never understand the emotions you go through, the ups and downs and and the pride that you feel. Um, to have this wonderful animal. And, and in addition to him being an athlete, 
he, he's a sweetheart. He's got the sweetest personality. He's fun. He loves people. And, um, you know, a lot of that is never really said. Mm -hmm. But with Chrome, oh, my mm -hmm. gosh, he was right. just... You, you fell in love with him the first day you saw him. Well, you know, we saw him walking in the shed row at Belmont, mm -hmm. and when he got to the corner where people were, he would stop. Stop, he poses. For, for he he poses, taken. and that's what's so amazing about him. When we were at the Preetness, after the Preetness, we were behind the um, barn, and they were washing him off and everything, and there were hundreds of people, and there were flashes going off in his face, and he's just standing there. And so I hear this noise, and when I heard it, he heard it. It was a helicopter. This horse raised his head and he went, and he's watching this helicopter. And then we, he couldn't stand it anymore. He dropped his head back and just stood there and let them finish what they were doing. So, you know, in addition to, to that, that big athlete, this horse is just, he's incredible. He's so smart. And I mean, he, he's just wonderful. A once in a lifetime, we'll never have another chrome. You know, we have two full sisters, but we're never going to have another chrome. Well, that's terrific. And listen, I just want you to know we so appreciate you doing the interview. You all have been such good examples. Actually, uh, just class individuals, and we really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. It was my pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome.